Welcome to our deep dive into the ocean's most fascinating creatures, where today we're bubbling with excitement to share 15 curious facts about the pufferfish that you didn't know. These enigmatic creatures of the deep hold secrets and surprises that defy our expectations, from their deadly toxins to their peculiar habits. Before we embark on this underwater journey, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. Staying tuned and watching every detail of this video is crucial, as it not only enriches your knowledge about the marine world, but also supports us in bringing more such intriguing content your way. Each fact has been carefully selected to astonish, inform, and inspire curiosity in you. So let's puff up our understanding and explore the hidden depths of the pufferfish's world together. Fact 1. Pufferfish have a unique defense mechanism. Diving into the underwater realm, we encounter the pufferfish, a creature that captivates with its unique and bewildering ability to inflate itself. This first curious fact about the pufferfish opens a treasure chest of questions and marvels. How does this seemingly docile creature transform into a formidable sphere in moments of danger? It's a natural wonder that defies our understanding of marine biology. When threatened, the pufferfish ingests an enormous volume of water, and sometimes air, expanding its elastic stomach to many times its original size. This rapid inflation is not just for show, it's a sophisticated defense mechanism evolved over millennia, designed to deter predators by making the pufferfish too big to swallow or by exposing its sharp spines, which are otherwise hidden. But the intrigue doesn't end there. This survival strategy, while effective, comes with its own set of risks and limitations. It's a fine line between deterrence and danger, as frequent or improper inflation can cause physical stress or even fatal damage to the pufferfish itself. This delicate balance between life and death under the sea highlights the pufferfish's place in the intricate tapestry of ocean life, serving as a reminder of the complexity and interconnectedness of marine ecosystems. As we delve deeper into the life of the pufferfish, this fact alone piques our curiosity, prompting us to explore the mysteries of the deep and appreciate the wonders of nature's design. Fact 2. Pufferfish are one of the most poisonous creatures in the world. Fact number two unveils a paradox of nature found within the seemingly vulnerable pufferfish. It harbors a toxin so potent it puts the creature among the most deadly on the planet. This toxin, known as tetrodotoxin, is a substance that raises both alarm and intrigue, being up to 1,200 times more toxic than cyanide. What's truly fascinating is that this lethal weapon targets the nervous system, capable of paralyzing and even killing a predator or an unwary human with just a small dose. The curiosity deepens when we consider that the pufferfish itself is immune to its own poison, a biological marvel that scientists are still trying to fully understand. This toxic defense mechanism begs the question, how did such a deadly trait evolve? And how does the pufferfish manage to accumulate this toxin in its body? given that it is not born with it, but acquires it through its diet. The presence of tetrodotoxin in pufferfish is a vivid reminder of the complexity of evolutionary adaptations and the delicate balance of life and death in the ocean. It also highlights the intricate relationship between predators and prey, where the lines between hunter and hunted blur in the most unexpected ways. This curious fact not only underscores the dangers lurking in the deep, but also the unending quest for knowledge about the mysteries of the marine world. Fact 3. Pufferfish are not born poisonous. The third fact about pufferfish takes us on a curious journey into the origins of their infamous toxin. It's a fascinating revelation that pufferfish are not born with the deadly tetrodotoxin coursing through their bodies. Rather, they acquire it through their diet. This intriguing aspect of their biology opens up a plethora of questions about the symbiotic relationships within marine ecosystems. How do these fish selectively ingest organisms that enable them to become one of the ocean's most feared creatures? The diet primarily consists of certain types of bacteria that produce tetrodotoxin, which the pufferfish then assimilates. This process of toxin accumulation suggests a remarkable level of biological selectivity and adaptation. It's as if the ocean itself has concocted a natural brew of defense for these creatures. Moreover, this fact challenges our understanding of toxicity and immunity in marine life, prompting us to ponder the evolutionary pathways that led to such a unique method of survival. The ability of the pufferfish to turn its food into a potent weapon is a testament to the complexity and wonder of nature's designs, encouraging deeper exploration into the connections between diet 
defense mechanisms, and evolutionary success in the aquatic world. This curious insight not only enhances our knowledge of the pufferfish, but also invites us to explore the intricate web of life beneath the waves, where every creature plays a role in the grand tapestry of the ocean. Fact 4. Pufferfish is a delicacy in Japan. Fact number four takes us to the culinary heart of Japan, where the pufferfish, known as fugu, transforms from a potentially lethal creature into a delicacy revered by food connoisseurs. This curious paradox, where danger and delight converge on a single plate, is a testament to the unique cultural and gastronomic practices that define Japanese cuisine. The preparation of fugu is an art form, steeped in tradition and rigorous training. Chefs undergo years of meticulous training to earn the license required to serve this dish, a process that underscores the respect and reverence for the ingredient's inherent risk. What drives this culinary fascination with a dish that, if improperly prepared, could be fatal? It's the thrill of flirting with danger combined with the unique taste and texture of fugu that captivates the adventurous diner. This fact invites us to explore the boundaries between risk and reward, tradition and innovation in gastronomy. The allure of fugu is not just in its flavor, but in the ceremony and expertise surrounding its consumption. It embodies a profound connection to nature where humans engage directly with the raw elements of the sea, navigating the fine line between life and death. The cultural significance of fugu in Japan is a rich field for curiosity, offering insights into how culinary practices can elevate a simple act of eating into a deeply meaningful experience, blending history, skill, and a touch of danger into every bite. Fact 5. There are more than 120 species of pufferfish found in tropical and subtropical ocean waters. Fact 5 unveils the surprising diversity of the pufferfish species, plunging us into a world where variety defies the imagination. With over 120 species scattered across the tropical and subtropical waters of our planet, each species of pufferfish presents a unique tapestry of colors, patterns, and sizes that enchant the observer. This fact beckons us to marvel at the evolutionary creativity that has given rise to such diversity within a single family of fish. What forces of nature have sculpted this array of species, each adapted to thrive in its specific niche within the marine ecosystem? From the tiny dwarf puffer, no larger than a golf ball, to the imposing giant puffer, which can grow to the size of a large dog, the range of sizes is astonishing. The variety in their patterns and colors serves not just as camouflage or warning signals to predators, but also as a vibrant display of nature's artistry. This diversity invites us to ponder the ecological roles these various species play in the ocean's delicate balance. How do they interact with their environment? And what can they teach us about resilience and adaptation in the face of changing seas? The exploration of pufferfish species diversity is not merely an exercise in cataloging nature's wonders. It's an invitation to deepen our understanding of biodiversity and the interconnectedness of life beneath the waves. This fact, brimming with curiosity, challenges us to appreciate the sheer scale of nature's inventiveness and the endless mysteries that the ocean holds, waiting to be discovered. Fact 6. Pufferfish have four teeth that are fused together into a beak-like form. Fact 6 introduces us to an extraordinary aspect of the pufferfish's anatomy that sparks curiosity and wonder, their unique teeth formation. Pufferfish are equipped with four teeth that are fused together, forming a beak-like structure that is both intriguing and formidable. This dental arrangement is not merely a peculiarity of evolution. It serves a critical purpose in the pufferfish's survival. These fused teeth allow the pufferfish to crack open hard-shelled prey such as mollusks and crustaceans, which constitute a significant part of their diet. This fact invites us to delve deeper into the marvels of evolutionary adaptation and the specific challenges these creatures face in their aquatic environments. How did such a specialized dental structure come to be? And what does it tell us about the ecological niches pufferfish inhabit? The efficiency of this natural tool is a testament to the precision of natural selection, shaping beings to thrive in their specific contexts. Moreover, this unique dental feature prompts further curiosity about the feeding habits and predatory strategies of puffer fish. How does this beak-like structure influence their hunting techniques, and what impact does it have on their prey populations?
Exploring the significance of the puffer fish's teeth opens a window into the complex interplay of form, function, and survival in the natural world, revealing the intricate balance of ecosystems and the fascinating adaptations organisms develop to navigate their environments. Fact 7. Despite their ability to puff up, puffer fish are relatively slow swimmers. Fact 7 delves into the pufferfish's paradoxical nature as a creature of both fascination and vulnerability, revealing its status as a relatively slow swimmer in the vast, fast-moving ocean. This intriguing aspect of pufferfish biology beckons us to explore the delicate balance of survival strategies in the marine ecosystem. Despite their lethargic swimming pace, pufferfish thrive in waters teeming with predators, relying on their unique ability to inflate and their potent toxin for protection rather than speed or agility. This slow swimming pace invites curiosity about how these creatures navigate their environments, find food, and interact with other marine life without the swift escape mechanisms many other species depend on. It challenges us to consider the evolutionary trade-offs that have shaped the pufferfish, investing in chemical and physical defenses at the expense of speed. Furthermore, this fact raises questions about the role of mobility in the survival of marine species and how different creatures have adapted to the same environmental pressures in varied and innovative ways. The pufferfish's slow swimming ability is a testament to the diversity of life's strategies for enduring in the complex tapestry of the ocean, prompting us to appreciate the nuanced interplay between predator and prey and the myriad forms resilience can take in the natural world. Fact 8. Some pufferfish species can live up to 10 years. Fact 8 illuminates the surprisingly long lifespan of pufferfish in captivity, a curious insight that invites us to ponder the complexities of marine biology and the impact of environment on longevity. These enigmatic creatures, often perceived as delicate and ephemeral within the vast and perilous ocean, can live up to a decade under the care of humans. This revelation challenges us to think about the factors that contribute to the longevity of marine species and how captivity alters the natural order of life and death in the underwater world. It raises intriguing questions about the diet, habitat conditions, and stress levels that puffer fish experience in the wild versus in aquariums. How do controlled environments shield them from predators and diseases that would otherwise curtail their lives in the ocean? Moreover, this fact invites curiosity about the ethical implications and responsibilities of keeping such unique creatures in captivity. What does it take to replicate the intricate balance of their natural habitats and ensure their well-being for years? The extended lifespan of pufferfish in captivity not only highlights the resilience and adaptability of these creatures, but also reflects the human fascination with and dedication to understanding and preserving the diversity of marine life. It serves as a poignant reminder of our role in shaping the lives of other species and the importance of fostering environments that respect and protect the natural world's complexity and wonder. Fact 9. Inflating is a pufferfish's last resort. Fact 9 uncovers the intriguing reality that inflating is a puffer fish's last resort, a fascinating snippet of information that prompts us to delve deeper into the survival instincts of these unique creatures. This strategic choice to only puff up when absolutely necessary reveals the complexities of the marine world, where every defense mechanism carries its own risks and costs. The act of inflating is not without consequence for the puffer fish. It exposes them to potential harm and stress, highlighting the delicate balance they must navigate between deterrence and vulnerability. This insight leads us to wonder about the internal mechanisms and decision-making processes that guide a puffer fish in its moment of peril. How do they gauge the level of threat and decide when to employ their most famous defense? Furthermore, this fact opens up a broader curiosity about the evolutionary trade-offs that shape the behaviors of marine species. The puffer fish's reluctance to inflate unless absolutely necessary underscores the energy and risks involved in this survival tactic. It invites us to consider the myriad other strategies that creatures of the deep have evolved to protect themselves, often opting for less dramatic yet equally effective methods of deterrence. The cautious use of their iconic defense mechanism by puffer fish serves as a poignant reminder of the complexities and intricacies of life beneath the waves where every action has consequences and survival is an art finely tuned by millions of years of evolution. Fact 10. Surprisingly, not all pufferfish can inflate. Fact 10 introduces a surprising twist in the tale of pufferfish. Not all species have the ability to inflate, 
a detail that adds a layer of complexity to our understanding of these enigmatic creatures. This revelation challenges the very image most of us hold of pufferfish, inviting us to question what it means for a species so synonymous with inflation to lack this iconic defense mechanism. How do these non-inflating species navigate the perilous waters of the ocean without the ability to puff up and intimidate potential predators? This curiosity leads us into a deeper exploration of the alternative survival strategies employed by these unique members of the pufferfish family. It suggests a rich tapestry of evolutionary paths within a single group of organisms, each adapting to its environment in its own distinct way. The existence of non-inflating pufferfish raises fascinating questions about the diversity of life and the myriad forms that survival can take in the natural world. It prompts us to consider the role of genetics, habitat, and diet in shaping the characteristics and behaviors of marine species. Moreover, this fact encourages us to appreciate the subtleties of adaptation and the importance of not assuming uniformity even within closely related species. The diversity among puffer fish, including those that cannot inflate, serves as a testament to the complexity of evolutionary biology and the endless surprises the natural world has in store for those curious enough to look. Fact 11. Puffer fish inhabit a variety of environments. Fact 11 unveils the vast array of habitats puffer fish call home from the vibrant coral reefs to the shadowy depths of mangroves and even into the fresh waters of rivers and lakes. This astonishing adaptability paints a picture of a creature that defies the constraints of a singular ecological niche, thriving in a diversity of environments that few marine species can claim. The curiosity here lies not just in the where, but in the how. How do pufferfish, with their unique set of biological traits, navigate and adapt to such varied habitats? Each environment presents its own set of challenges, from varying salinity levels in fresh and salt waters to the differing shelter and prey availability between coral reefs and mangroves. This fact beckons us to explore the evolutionary journey of pufferfish, pondering the genetic and behavioral flexibility that allows them to occupy such a broad ecological spectrum. It raises questions about their diet, breeding habits, and interactions with other species across these diverse habitats. Furthermore, the wide habitat range of pufferfish underscores the richness of aquatic ecosystems and the intricate balance of marine life. It invites us to consider the impacts of environmental changes on these versatile creatures and the ecosystems they inhabit. The ability of pufferfish to thrive in various habitats is a testament to the resilience and complexity of life beneath the surface, offering endless curiosity and fascination for those eager to uncover the secrets of the underwater world. Fact 12. Pufferfish are mostly solitary creatures. Fact 12 delves into the predominantly solitary nature of pufferfish, an aspect that stirs curiosity about their social behaviors and interactions within the vastness of the ocean. This revelation invites us to ponder the life of a creature that, aside from brief periods of mating, prefers the solitude of the underwater world. What drives this preference for a solitary existence and how does it influence their survival strategies, mating rituals, and territorial behaviors? The fact that pufferfish spend most of their lives alone challenges common perceptions of marine life as being inherently communal or schooling. It raises intriguing questions about the evolutionary advantages of solitude in the aquatic environment. How do solitary pufferfish fend off predators, find food, or locate mates without the benefits of group living? Moreover, this insight into their solitary nature prompts further curiosity about the moments when they do come together. The mating season must present a fascinating shift in their behavior, turning loners into temporary companions. This unique approach to life among pufferfish not only highlights the diversity of social structures in the marine world, but also encourages us to explore the nuanced balance between the benefits of solitude and the occasional necessity of interaction. The solitary nature of pufferfish serves as a vivid reminder of the myriad ways life adapts to the challenges of survival, offering a singular perspective on the complexity and adaptability of marine organisms. Fact 13. Some pufferfish species show remarkable parental care. Fact 13 unveils the unexpected realm of parental care among some species of pufferfish, a characteristic that might seem at odds with their otherwise solitary existence. This intriguing aspect of their behavior offers a glimpse into the nuanced and complex social interactions that occur beneath the ocean's surface, even among those creatures we least expect. 
The idea that certain pufferfish engage in active nest guarding until their young hatch provokes a multitude of questions about the dynamics of marine parenting. What evolutionary pressures led to the development of such parental instincts in a creature predominantly known for its solitary nature and defensive prowess? This fact invites us to explore the delicate balance between the energy invested in offspring survival versus the inherent risks of predation and environmental hazards. How do pufferfish ensure the safety of their nests in the vast and unpredictable marine environment? And what strategies do they employ to protect their future generations? Furthermore, this insight into pufferfish parental care challenges our understanding of marine biology, suggesting a depth of behavioral complexity that parallels terrestrial life in unexpected ways. It raises curiosity about the emotional capacities of fish, the intricacies of their life cycles, and the ways in which they navigate the challenges of reproduction and offspring survival. The notion of pufferfish as attentive guardians of their young not only adds a layer of complexity to their characterization, but also serves as a testament to the diversity of life strategies in the ocean, illuminating the broad spectrum of behaviors that contribute to the survival and continuation of species. Fact 14. When pufferfish inflate, they're not just filling up with water. Fact 14 reveals an astonishing aspect of the pufferfish's repertoire of survival tactics, their ability to gulp air and float on the surface of the water. This ability is not just a simple party trick, but a sophisticated method of evasion and defense, adding a new dimension to our understanding of these creatures' interactions with their environment. The ability to float by gulping air is a curious adaptation that begs several questions about the evolutionary benefits and the specific scenarios in which a puffer fish might resort to such a strategy. How does this ability help them evade predators or perhaps even aid in dispersing to new habitats? This fact invites us to consider the physics and biology at play, the careful regulation of buoyancy, and the risks involved in exposing themselves at the water's surface. Moreover, it challenges our perceptions of fish as solely underwater beings, showcasing the puffer fish's unique link between the aquatic and the aerial, a testament to the incredible versatility and adaptability of life. The mechanism behind this buoyancy control, the physiological changes that occur during air gulping and the decision-making process that leads a puffer fish to take to the surface are all facets of a complex survival strategy that underscores the intricate dance of adaptation and survival. This intriguing behavior highlights the puffer fish's remarkable ability to navigate the challenges of their watery world, illustrating the vast array of survival strategies evolved by marine creatures in response to the diverse threats and opportunities presented by their environments. Fact 15, the puffer fish's genome is compact and efficient. Fact 15 offers a window into the scientific marvel that is the puffer fish's genome, an aspect of these creatures that transcends their physical peculiarities to hint at broader implications for biology and genetics. The puffer fish genome is not just any genetic blueprint, it is remarkably compact and efficient, stripped of the extraneous genetic material that clutters the genomes of many other species. This streamlined genetic sequence provides an exceptional opportunity for scientists to study gene function and regulation with unusual clarity. The curiosity here is multifaceted. How did the pufferfish's genome become so refined? And what does this evolutionary path tell us about the pressures and opportunities faced by marine life over millions of years? The compactness of their genome raises intriguing questions about the relationship between genetic material and physiological complexity, challenging the notion that more DNA equates to greater biological sophistication. Furthermore, the pufferfish genome serves as a valuable model for understanding human diseases and developmental processes, offering insights that could lead to breakthroughs in medicine and biotechnology. The fact that such a peculiar and seemingly simple creature could hold the keys to unlocking profound scientific mysteries underscores the interconnectedness of all life on Earth and the potential that lies in the most unexpected places. The study of the puffer fish genome invites us to marvel at the intricacies of evolution and the endless curiosity that drives scientific exploration, reminding us that every creature, no matter how small or strange, has a story that can enlighten our understanding of the natural world. Thank you for diving into the deep with us to explore 15 curious facts about pufferfish. If you've been amazed by the incredible world of these unique creatures, share this video to spread the wonder and curiosity with others. 
Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more fascinating journeys into the natural world. Now keep your adventure going by clicking on the video that appears on the screen next. Discover more mysteries of the ocean and beyond with us. Until next time, keep exploring!